everyone this is shubham pramanik from motionrex.com and i'm back again with another interesting video featuring an ice cream brand this is a very engaging and eye catchy video for social media but i'm gonna show you how to make this one within a couple of minutes in a very easy way so without further ado let's begin and now let's get started by dragging our image one and now press ctrl alt and shift h to set it properly and also i'm going to drag and drop our image too as well now press ctrl alt shift and h again to fit in properly now what i'm gonna do i'll press t to reveal the opacity and just bring it down a little bit now we need to place these two images uh, overlapping each other as much as possible you can do and so i'll press shift s to reveal the scale property and I think uh, we need to scale it up a little bit so I'll set it to 230 also press shift P and now just drag it a little bit and just make it 540 I guess so and now just change the opacity and let's see how it is looking let's make this one 655 and let's increase that to 640 as well now let's check it yep it is looking better right now let's animate this layer so for that what i'll do i'll set a keyframe on the scale property just drag this keyframe a few frames forward and now increase this one so it will move like this fine now select this two keyframe easy ease those and now let's check it nice i'll just place this layer over here and now just go to your rectangle tool and double click over here and name it as matte okay i'm gonna select the image too and press f4 to reveal the track matte option then select alpha matte okay and just increase the opacity of the image too as well okay now select this matte layer press alt shift and p to set a keyframe on the position drag that one a few frames forward and now drag it like this upward okay so basically we are gonna reveal our image to through that matte layer okay so it will move like this now select these two keyframe and easy ease those as well press u to close them up now just duplicate this image one by pressing ctrl d press ctrl and right square bracket to place it over here that is a shortcut and now i'm gonna press u to reveal the keyframe just off the scale animation and let's see yep and at this point i'm gonna select the pen tool i'm gonna draw a line quickly over here i'll press shift and left click to create a straight line okay perfect and just close this one by clicking here okay i'll change the fill color to something like a whitey stone now after that what i'll do i'll just select this layer i'll make sure the anchor point is in the center of this layer and if it is not you can just do that quickly by selecting this pan behind tool or you can press y and just drag this one okay press alt shift and r to set a keyframe on the rotation i'll drag that one a few frames forward and i'll make it like this a straight line just like that so it will come up like this and after that it will move around i'll go to around three second or four second and i'll rotate it like this so one two and three so i want to place it over here so it will rotate like this here you can see one thing you can do you can just delete this and place it over here and add a position animation over here as well so i'll press alt shift and p to set a keyframe on the position drag this one over here and now drag it upwards just like this outside of the frame so that line will come up like this and it will start rotating and it will settle then the next scene will come up okay i'm gonna just double click over here it will create a new shape layer make sure that you are here at this keyframe and now just link it to our shape layer one or let's name it as line okay and now let's see let's ramp preview it and let's see how it is looking here you can see that it is rotating with our line layer but there is one problem here you can see that we need to increase the size of it so i'll just drag it like this so that it covers the entire frame 
and here you can see that it is working pretty much fine name it as mat 2 okay i'll duplicate this image one i'll place it over here and now just set the track mat to alpha mat and i guess now everything is looking pretty much fine and after that what i'm gonna do i'm gonna select all of this keyframe i'll press alt and drag them a few frames forward so the animation feels more engaging yep let's just drag this two layer a few frames forward yeah it is looking nice now at this point i'm going to introduce the second scene so i'll place a marker so press shift and 2 to add a marker all right so first thing we need to change the resolution of the composition so i'll press ctrl k and let's make it as into 3 so it will just look like this and after that let's create a new background so the color should be around red there is a reason for that i'm gonna explain it let's place it one by one and make sure there is no gap in between them that's why i've selected the background color as red so that we can easily see the color okay now go to your main composition there i'm gonna drag and drop our second scene and just position it properly so i'm gonna place it over here now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna reveal this layer over here so i'll just create a new shape layer by selecting our ellipse tool and there i'm gonna press shift and create a circle like this now align it to the center and crop it over here now press alt shift and s to create a keyframe on the scale property make this one zero go 10 frames forward and make this one just like this so that it covers the entire frame now select these two keyframes and easy is those so it will look like this here i'm gonna select the track mat to alpha mat okay so it will reveal the layer just like this and at this position i'm gonna select the second scene layer and i'm gonna place a keyframe by pressing alt shift and p the position and go a few frames forward set a keyframe over here and now go 10 frames forward and drag it like this way so that it reveals our second tub just like that and now go 20 frames forward and there i'm gonna place again and go 10 frames forward and just drag it like this perfect now just select these two keyframes and easy ease those and select these two and easy is to add a scale animation as well so i'll just increase the scale a little bit like this now let's ramp preview the entire scene and let's see how we've built it so far yep looking nice pretty cool this one and yeah now it is reveling and yeah so in this way you can make something for your client within a couple of minutes i hope you have learned something new from this video if you found this video helpful please consider subscribing to the channel and let me know what should i do for the next video in the comments i read all of the comments so with that said this is shubham pramanik signing off and i'll see you in the next one keep animating keep smiling goodbye